Well, it's another box of papers, so I'm going to sort all this out. Hi guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Melinda, plain and simple. Today, it's Tuesday. For those of you who are new to my channel or who have not been watching the Tiny Tidies or the regular basement declutters on Fridays, um, this is the room that I have been working on. This is a room in our basement. Our whole basement needs to be decluttered. And I've been working on it a little bit over time, um, but right now I'm trying to focus as much as possible on this room. I'd like to get it a little bit more in order before I move on. Um, there's lots of stuff to go through in here. If you've been watching my channel, you know I don't really plan. I just come down here and I just kind of look around and see what I want to do. That's usually how I do it. Not always. I mean, sometimes I kind of have some have my eye on something, but today I don't really have my eye on anything in particular. So I thought maybe I'll just look around the room and see what I can find. And maybe in the process, I'll find a little area. Otherwise, maybe it'll just be all around this whole little room. Anyway, let's get started. And if you've got something that you need to declutter around your house or tidy up around your house, grab your stuff and come on, we'll do it together. I have already gone through these and kind of sorted this out a little bit and I've been putting some things here that I'm not ready to say goodbye to yet. Um, but over here, I haven't even started on this stuff. Um, so I think I am going to look in here and see if there's some things that I can just pull out, things that I can recognize that um, I don't want to keep. And then maybe, maybe I'll find a little bin or a basket or something because uh, there's lots of boxes and baskets and things in here that I can go through. But I know I don't want to keep this. There was a time when I was going to decorate the room with the pink and black and white, but I'm not going to do that. Um, I don't want to have a rug that I'm going to be tripping over. And honestly, I think, I think a mouse got on this. I think there's like mouse residues, which is really a shame because that is really pretty. I would have used that, but I think not since it has mouse root residues. <laughs> residue -doos. Um, Yeah, so I think that's just going to have to go, sadly. Um, it is pretty. I'll enjoy looking at it, but then it's going to have to go. But for now, I'm going to get rid of this and this. Now, when I say get rid of, I mean I am going to gift that away, and that I will probably have to trash because, yeah, yeah, sadly, <laughs> we don't want to pass that on. So uh, I'm going to put the camera down now so I can go ahead and pull some things out because it's not that easy to pull things out with one hand. So I'll show you what I find. Well, I thought this thing was empty, but when I picked it up, it had a little weight to it. So I opened it. I don't know what's in it because I didn't peek in there yet. Let's see. Oh, these used to be my at, my at our house that we lived at before. I had roses in the bathroom. I actually had a cute little uh, china plates hanging on the wall in the bathroom. These were the shower curtain hooks. We didn't actually have a shower. Um, I put them, I hung them on the uh, window where I had some curtains uh, because they just looked cute. So they were just more of a decorative thing. I didn't use them as they were intended, but I did use them. That may be what all of these are because those are breakable. Yeah, I bet that's what all of these are. So... Yeah, I don't, I don't know if I'll keep those or not. Um, I do, actually, I did have some of those, and I put them in our bathroom. Oh, and some paint. <laughs> I, don't know. I don't know if it's any good or not. It feels like it might be. Maybe I can pass that on to somebody. Um, yeah, these can, I don't know if I'll use these. Um, if I don't find a place to actually use them, then I will pass them on, but they are very pretty, aren't they? I love roses, so there you go. Okay, so, uh, oh, something else. I don't need that. That can go as well. I was probably going to make a little art thing, yeah, and I don't need these either, so all of this can go. Sadly, this is probably going to have to be trashed just because it had an unwelcome visitor. Okay, so yeah, we've already made a little progress. Isn't that a pretty rug? But this old carpet, I know we're not going to change this carpet. Uh, we're not going to put the money into that right now. Maybe at some point, but not right now. And so, 
when we do that, I can always buy a rug if I want one. So I'm gonna just going to go ahead and let this one go. As you can see, it's still got the price tag on it because we never did finish this room. I mean, I was going to put flooring down in here. I had, I had all kinds of big imaginings for what I was going to do in this room, but none of them happened. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and let all of those things go. But because by the time I get around to that point, I'm probably going to want something different. So, bye-bye, rug. These are just some baskets that I don't know. I might use those um, down here. If not, I'll let them go. But for now, I'm just going to leave them here. This, this is my bowling trophy. I was not a great bowler, but I got most improved. Um, I had nowhere to go but up. So <laughs> these are the things I'm going to keep. These are my maybe. And I found a little bag of stuff that's hubby's. So I am going to go back over here and keep working on this shelf and see if I can find a few more things. So far, it hasn't taken very long. This was made for me when I graduated high school. I don't need to keep it though. I can, I can let that go. Let's see. This, oh, this is when I used to sell Tupperware. Record Breaker Week, Tupperware 1980. <laughs> it's got a nice sound to it. Hubby took me to Opryland. I always wanted to go to Opryland and he took me there on our 12th anniversary. It was so fun. And I, I don't know if you can see it, but I painted a a scene on it and I used straight pins <laughs> to, and toothpicks to paint that on there. I'm not an artist. I'm not a painter. I can find push pins in a color that I do enjoy. So I'm going to let those go on to somebody who will enjoy the green ones. Okay, so I'm not sure what this is. Looks like the rest of it. This is all books. These books are so fun. I love all of these. If you take a mouse to the movies, if you give a pig a pancake or whatever, those are all so cute. <laughs> and then a little pussycat Christmas. Cute. Seven Habits of Highly Effective People. And Writing and Illustrating Children's Books. And Woe is I. There you go. That's what's going to go on my bookshelf over here for the time being. This looks like it's going to be a very fun box to go through. <laughs> not. <laughs> okay, so this looks like exercise stuff. So we'll put that over here. And I'm just going to sort this stuff out and put it into little piles. And then we'll see what we've got. I got the box emptied out. And look at all of this. All of this is going to go in the shred bin. There's magazines and papers. There was stuff from back when I used to work and newspapers and packaging, just all sorts of stuff. That is all going to go. Um, these few things I will be keeping. Most of these have not even been written in or not very much, so I can use all that for my writing. I had a few little things that will go through the shred, and I found this fun little thing. This is from when I um, was at my job, and I got transferred to a new department, and this was my fan. I was going through menopause, <laughs> and so... Um, yeah, so they, they uh, wrote all over my fan as a goodbye. <laughs> so I'm going to keep that because that's fun. And then also I found this. Look at this, what Oprah was trying to teach me years ago to declutter my life. <laughs> so I might check that out and see what she has to say before I declutter that magazine. But it will go the way of all of these other magazines. But yeah, so that whole thing is emptied out. And this is all out of that box that I am going to be keeping, at least for the time being. Well, it's another box of papers, so I'm going to sort all this out and see what I need to keep and what I can put through the shredder or in the recycle bin. As I continue to declutter and go through things, I find stuff that I inevitably ask myself, why do I still have that? Why did I hang on to that? Why did I think I needed that? <laughs> Why didn't I just let go of it when I didn't need it anymore? I don't know, but I'm going to let it go of it now. But this is the 2010 Winter Olympics TV schedule. I'm pretty sure the 2010 Winter Olympics are over. So I am comfortable with letting that go. But apparently there was a time when I thought that I needed to hang on to it. So now it's time for me to let it go.
Yeah. So if you've got stuff that you're hanging on to and you're going through it, you know what? Don't judge yourself. Just go ahead and let go of it. It's okay. We all have our things. We all have stuff that we have. Well, some of us don't, but a lot of us, those of us who are struggling this, with this, we have a lot of things that we have held on to. We thought we needed it, or we just didn't bother to let go of it at the time. Whatever. It doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter. If you're ready to let go of it today, let go of it today. And be, got, be done with it. It's fine. It's fine. Yeah. Don't judge yourself. Just let it go. It's fine. Okay, I'm getting there. It gets, it gets uh, to the point where you just like you just want to you don't want to do it anymore. But I just have this much to go, so I just need to keep plugging away at it. And I just have to go through this little bit here, which doesn't look like it'll be too hard. But yeah, it gets to a point where you're like, I just want to quit. But don't quit. Keep going. If you have to quit, set it aside. That's okay. But if you're just wanting to quit just because you don't want to do it anymore just keep pushing okay just keep doing it it's just a little bit more we can do this so come on let's do it i got a bunch of envelopes in here and so i need to go through those a little bit more more thoroughly and see if the stuff can just be uh put through the shredder or if i need to file it but that is my pile of stuff to uh, look at a little bit more closely and i have a recipe in here that i might i don't know i might give it a try i'm not really much of a cook but Maybe I'll do that one in a couple of binders. Um, those may go. I'm not sure yet. But I have a little bit of stuff to go th that I want to shred. Some things that will go into the recycle bin. It's a big, pretty big pile of stuff there. And a few things that can go straight to the trash. But that box now is empty. I don't know if you can see it, but yeah, that box is empty. A box full of nothings, nothing I need, nothing of value I needed to keep, and yet I have kept them for many a year. Why is all of this nothing still here? Things I once needed, but just for a bit. This thing I could toss, but I hung on to it. Letters and lists and phone books galore. Why didn't I know I don't need them no more? It's obvious now, but it wasn't back then. I stored them inside this box way back when. But now to the nothings, I'm saying so long. I wasn't back then, but now I am strong. I found quite a bit of stuff to go in the recycle bin, some stuff to go in shred, and a little bit of stuff that went into trash. But I also found all of these things that can be gifted away. This is going to be my tiny tidy for this Tuesday. Yeah, I know, it's not done. It's not pretty. It's not organized. But that's because I am still in the midst of my major decluttering, and I don't want to organize or decorate until I'm further along. I don't want to organize a bunch of stuff that I'm not even going to keep, right? So this is what it's going to look like. Let me know in the comments if you ever have tiny tidies or any kind of a thing decluttering that ends up looking like this because you're still in the midst of your major decluttering. But for now, I have cleared out a space here. I still need to go through this. I still need to go through this. But I've made a first pass through these things. Some of that still may end up leaving. And this stuff, I'll hold off on until Friday. Because you guys have let me know that you want me to keep the videos between 10 and 20 minutes. And I think if I add this on, I'm going to be pushing that. So I'm just going to leave it until Friday. Be sure you check in for that. Meanwhile, thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for all of your wonderful comments and your suggestions. I appreciate it so much. I love every one of you. So let me know in the comments what you're doing this week. Let me know if you did a tiny tidy along with me. And thank you to Sunday Dawn from The Helpful Home for hosting Tiny Tidy Tuesdays every week. And also, be sure you check out that playlist in the description box below so you can see all the other tiny tidies. Meanwhile, happy decluttering! There's my bubby. Did you get your tiny tidy done? 
So go get your tiny, tiny tongue today.